gifted conference, if you will. A lot of points scored. He's already here, almost out of 40 points. Out of the backfield, the Reeves. The Reeves has got the move. He's heading towards the end zone. Great blocking and into the end zone. The first Ordinger touchdown of the season. Field, McKinney. Goes near side and a crushing blow to knock that ball away. Number 18, Jalen Champagne, the two flying out. It was actually five yards, three, third and 15. My mistake. Almost grabbing him back up and the sack has been made. Tommy Hoskins, the redshirt junior from Houston, Texas. Well, two. Both bulldozers, but. No option play. Borak spins, goes the opposite direction. Spins, cuts back in. Gets nailed. Spurgeon on the inside. Little option play. Seaton, no trouble. Waltzing into the end zone for the second touchdown of the day. And it's now 14 to nothing. Or Nick here putting up big numbers, but. A quick route there. And a great move there by Spurgeon. And he's got some more room. And boy, he is chucking up the field. Trying to beat everyone to the end zone. And guess what? He will. From the 41 yard line. We have a 59-yard touchdown catch from Dvorak, and that is a 59-yard touchdown catch. Dvorak, nice move there to get away from the defense. He goes across, across the middle to an open man. Thanks, stop. And the fake handoff there, looking to go up top towards the end zone. Mills, and a great catch from the great throw by Justin Dvorak. Just like that, it is now 27 to nothing. Four diggers are rolling here in game number one. On he has the lights here. McKinney steps back. Gonna go towards the end zone. He has a man, and he makes the grab. What an incredible touchdown catch there by the hard rockers. Marcus Sanchez, he drops a crit. So still a big hill to climb. Player, I think too easy, too easy there. Uh, He's gonna go left side, finds a man, and another touchdown. Spurgeon on the end of this one, a 30 yard grab. And what an answer by the Ordinger offense. He'll send a man in motion. He'll throw. Got a man open in the middle. And a fumble. And it's picked up. They're trying to score a touchdown here. Number 23 comes up with the fumble recovery. After the turnover, he's got plenty of time. He has to move around, spins, heads towards the back of the end zone and makes the grab and the touchdown catch. Ty Young, the junior. Great improvisation by Dvorak. Straight here, recognizing him. Yate left to go here in the second quarter. A fake trying to go over the top and a great catch there. Broker. Hoskins in on the stop. Hoskins is actually one on the stop. And Nixon, he's going to spin his way in. And the oh, hard run. Sends that through. And it is a fake. And so now he has to run and find his way through. He'll chuck it to the back of the end zone. And the catch. And things are going your way. They are absolutely going your way. By the gain of three. One yard touchdown run by Collins. Sure. Um, well, it certainly was a great, great win for us today. Uh, I thought the kids were really focused and just played their tails off. Um, extremely proud of this football team uh, with a new head coach and a new stadium and, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on around the program that might, you might consider distractions. And these kids focused in and got, got the job done today. And I, I couldn't be prouder of them. I mean, great bunch of kids, man. Fun to coach, fun guys. Certainly, the the crowd was a, a big boost, gave us a little bit more juice. But coming out of that locker room, we were already juiced up, ready to go. Um, but yeah, certainly when you make big plays and you hear the crowd roar, it just uh, just intensifies it. Um, I already had a lot of confidence as far as 
<clears throat> chemistry with the receivers. Uh, we have practically all of our receivers that came back this year were guys that played a significant role for us last year. Um, had a good spring, had a great fall camp, and uh, we're just looking to build off what we started. Um, I just I think the coaches have done a great job of preparing us, and like like Justin said, um, we have great chemistry on this team, and you know our O line was was in sync, and whenever they're in sync and we're running the ball well, it really opens up everything else. Well, I think the whole the, the way we've run the offense through the years, and 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 these kids have done a, a lot of good things with the offense here in the past. So there's a lot of carryover. Um, I know when when I when I took the job, I called Justin and told him, "Hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna change much," and uh, he was relieved to hear that. And uh, I think our run game is, you know, you'll see us spread the field a little bit more. We're in, in what we call more empty, uh, which we we did today a little bit, and I think that opens up running lanes. And um, I think we've, you know, we rushed for uh, 160 today. That's I'll take that. I'd like to get. You know, in 175, 180, but shoot, I, you know, I just want to win the game. And however we can win the game with our weapons, uh, you know, we, we've got to do that. And, um, you know, our, our kids just played a hell of a game. This quarterback is a, uh, was dominant out there. And, you know, they kept playing man coverage. And, uh, you know, we, we kept exploiting it. And uh, that was the whole deal. Uh, you know, we were. You know, I kept telling Coach Fulton, drive him out of man, drive him out of man. And, uh, you know, our offensive coordinator, he said, why? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, we kept uh, com uh, throwing uh, completions. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a, a great day throwing and running the ball, no doubt. What about your defense? Yeah, our defense did a good job getting the ball back for us. Uh, we had probably too many penalties. We got to clean that up. I saw a lot of laundry out there today, more than I'm used to. Uh, but we'll address that. And, uh We'll certainly get that cleaned up. You know, uh, that's something that, that if we don't, it'll come back and bite us at some time during the season. But we've got to uh, got to be smarter on some of the penalties. But uh, I thought we tackled well. Um, I thought that was a you know that was a decent offense that we played. You know, I'll give Coach Collins and those guys a lot of credit. They I thought the quarterback, uh, the young man that got hurt. I hope he's okay. I thought he was a good player. The backup kid was a good player. They had a couple backs that could run the ball. They had some receivers. I thought they were a very capable offense. And uh, I thought our defense did a good job getting some key stops throughout the game and really never let them get in the game. That was early on in the, in the first quarter. We jumped on them, got a 14 nothing league, then 21. And, uh, you know, that was, uh, I think, when, when we could get up three or four scores, we never really let them get in the game. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, a great stadium, uh, great day yesterday with the, with the ribbon cutting. And I know Coach K is, uh, uh, you know, he's such a humble guy, humble man, and uh, got a lot of respect for him. And uh, uh, this is a great place. I mean, it, it really is. It's a, uh, it's a great program. Yeah, well, it's certainly different than the uh, knack that we played in last year, but um, it was a lot of fun. Um, Great facilities, and uh, we're very, very blessed to have those facilities, and we don't take them for granted. Um, kind of just what was Justin was saying. Uh, we're extremely blessed, and you know we would we would like to thank all the people that that had a big part in this. And um, you know it's 100 and I think 22 years in the making or something like that, and it's an unbelievable experience, unbelievable turnout today for the crowd. And you know we're we're so thankful, and we realize how blessed we really are.